Hey guys, it's Mac with Maddox, here with another transformer tech tip for you. Today we're going to be looking at bushing configurations on substation transformers. And when it comes to bushing layout on pad mount transformers, it's pretty straightforward. The bushings are always in a cabinet on the front of the unit, with the high voltage bushings on the left hand side, and the low voltage bushings on the right hand side. The bushings on substation transformers on the other hand, can be almost anywhere on the unit. Let's look at substation bushing layouts. There's three things to consider. First is the bushing locations. Second is the phase rotation. And third are how the terminations are enclosed. ANSI gives us a standard designation for bushing locations. ANSI side one is the front of the transformer. That is the side with the drain valve and the nameplate. The other sides go around the transformer clockwise. So ANSI side two is the left-hand side, side three is the back, and side four is the right side. The bushings can be located on any one of these sides, and they can also be on the top of the unit on any of those sides. That's bushing locations. Now phase rotation is the actual order in which the bushings are placed left to right. In this example, our low voltage bushings go from the left to right, X0, which is the neutral bushing, X1, 2, and 3. This order can be reversed, and the placement of the neutral bushing can be found either on the leftmost or the rightmost side. And it's less common, but the neutral bushing can also be beneath all the others or on the lid of the unit. The order of the bushings on the transformer is dictated by the phase rotation in the electrical system, which is different from system to system. And this is critical to understand when replacing a unit, because if you get the phasing wrong, it's not gonna work. Bushings are always clearly labeled on the tank itself, and the information can also be found on the nameplate. In this example, we can see from the nameplate that the high voltage bushings are on the left side of the unit and the low voltage bushings are on the right. And we can see the phase rotation as well. All transformer terminations have to be out of reach for safety. And unless the bushings are rated for outdoor use, as in the case with top mounted bushings, they also have to be enclosed to keep water and debris away from the live parts. Here's the most common ways that bushings are enclosed. The unit can be outfitted with a full length or partial length flange which gives the customer an interface for bolting on either a transition section or a bus duct or something else that encloses the terminals. A throat is basically an extended flange, which again can simply connect directly to bus duct or to a piece of switch gear or something like that. And finally, air terminal chambers or ATCs are used for cabled connections and can be either partial length or full length. This stuff is especially important to know when you're replacing a substation unit, because if things don't match up perfectly, it could make the install very difficult or impossible. If you want to get smarter about transformers, subscribe to our channel for more transformer tech tips just like this one. And check out this video to learn more about transformer bushings.